Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a sew and tell for sort of July, August? June, July, August? I can't remember when the last sew and tell I did but it was a while ago. So this will be my August show and tell. Show and tell, sew and tell. Um, but I'm just showing you everything I've made since the last video. So the first item I'm going to talk about is the top I'm wearing. Um, so you might have seen, well basically you might have seen all of these items on my Instagram or on my blog or things like that. I will put the link to my blog in the description and I think my Instagram is in there but my Instagram is now at sew, S-E-W sew, underscore, underscore, Jessily. Someone has been really annoying and taken all of the So Jessily like usernames. I don't know why they've done that, just to be spiteful. Please follow me on there if you haven't already. Um, so this top is the Megan Nielsen Briarty. Um, I made a couple for the Minerva Cross Blogger Network. Um, this is the first one, it's like a little cropped version. Um, lower curved hem, um, short sleeves. Um, I love these t-shirts. These, these are like, I think this is my third layout that I've got. Um, and I'm going to show you the other one I made as well. So I made both of these t-shirts with fabric from Minerva for Crafts. Um, the other one is like a really, really long tee. Everything's really creased. I'm sorry, I haven't ironed anything. Um, so this was out of like the silver jersey rib. Now, I don't know if you guys can help me, but I haven't hung this yet in the wash. It's like stretched loads, like really, really long. Now, I washed the fabric before. Um, maybe it's just a ribbed jersey thing, but it's like literally stretched into like a long tube. Um, and I wanted it a bit longer anyway, but now I think I might have to... Um, trim it and then do redo the hem again but this one had a curved upwards hem at the front and a curved downwards at the back and also it wasn't wavy the seams weren't wavy um when i made it but now that it's been washed they are wavy does anyone know why that's happened um but that's a bit annoying but i've been wearing it loads since because the fabric is so soft i've been definitely wearing this one more because i i think i've now realized that i prefer like a more cropped shape on me um but this one's so soft and it's so comfortable to wear um so i will post a picture of me wearing this gray one next to me um but yeah i really really like this one um and if you can get your hands on this ribbed jersey from Minerva Crafts, get some. I have it in this colour and I have it in a dark grey. And I, they're, honestly, they're the softest fabrics I've ever bought. So I definitely recommend them. Okay, so the next item is creased. <laughs> My mom's going to kill me. Um, but it's the Lola dress. Um by Wear Lemonade. Again, this was my July post for the Minerva Cross Blogger Network. Um, it's Wear Lemonade patterns are a French company. They have their own like clothing as well as patterns. Um, so it's got this cute little collar with a hook and eye and a little open yoke. And then a cute little collar at the front, little pocket. Um, I am now calling this my Alice in Wonderland dress. Um, if I put a picture of me here, you'll see that I definitely look a lot younger when I wear it. I think it's just like the boxy shape and sort of like the gathered skirt. But it has got pockets and you know how much I love a pocket in a pattern. So that's a bonus. Um, and I do really, really like this dress. I wore it for my birthday and it was really, really comfortable. It's a bit like I said it does make you look a bit younger um but I mean I don't really care it's cute I love the little collar I love this chambray fabric that I made it out of um yeah I really really like it if you don't look at my Minerva Cross blogger posts I will put the link in the description so you can go and have a look but you'll see some more pictures of me wearing it and yeah just tell me what you think don't be horrible but just tell me what you think Okay, the next thing you've probably seen in a few of my other videos, but I did finish off my tropical print peak t-shirt. Um, so the peak t-shirt pattern is from Wendy Ward's new book, um, Sewing with, a Beginner's Guide to Sewing with Knitted Fabrics. Um, and I recommend this book to anyone who 
like sewing with jersey. I also recommend Tilly's book Stretch, Tilly and the Buttons book Stretch, um, because that's amazing as well. But the peak t-shirt is now like one of my iconic sort of staple t-shirt patterns. I like the shape of it. I sort of crop it quite short. Um, and you know how much I love this fabric. I was so glad I got another top out of this fabric. Um, and someone who I was chatting to on Instagram the other day has made the same t-shirt in the same fabric. So now we are tropical twins. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Absolutely, 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 absolutely love it. I love everything about this fabric and I love this t-shirt so much. So thank you, Wendy Ward, for your gorgeous patterns. Okay, so you would have already seen this because I did a sew along on it, but I just thought I'd put it in this video anyway because I have made it in the last few months. Ah. So if you didn't watch my sew along, a company called Dovetailed in London who specialise in African print fabrics um, asked me if I could make something with some fabric. I couldn't decide which fabric I loved the most on their website so they surprised me with this one and I've made a pair, it's actually the By Hand London Holly jumpsuit pattern but I modified them to be culottes so they're like wide leg culottes. Um, now Eliza Lex who is the co-founder of By Hand London um, did a blog post on how to change the holly jumpsuit pattern into culottes so I basically just copied that pattern um, but if you do want to watch me sew it on my channel there is a sew along from start to finish on how I made these so if you like them then great um, again I'll put the link in the description for the dovetailed fabric because some of their African print fabrics are incredible like the designs are stunning and now that I've worked with African print fabric I definitely will do it again. Also both sides, printed both sides so even the inside of your trousers looks just as cool so I love these so much. Okay so the last thing is my most recent make um, and it's another wear lemonade pattern um, it's called the Mona jacket <gasps> now you all know how much I loved this fabric when I got it. The fabric is from Minerva Crafts and it's an art gallery fabric and it's actually called like Mexican Fiesta or like Mexican Summer or something like that. But I love this fabric so much and if you saw my fabric stash video a while ago you know how excited I was so I finally made this jacket with it. Now this jacket is like a cropped style, it's got a really nice open angled zip. Um, these uh, are just snaps for show, they're not actually doing anything. Um, but this looks so good on, I'll put a picture up here. Um, I love this jacket so much and my sister thought I was a bit nuts when I showed her that. I just think it's so fun, I love the fabric, it's just a really nice style and it, I must say I think it does suit me. Um, not just the crazy design but the style of the jacket as well. So I'm really really happy with this make. It was my most recent like finished project. Again it was for the Minerva Cross Blogger Network um, so you might have seen it already. Um, but I just, I just absolutely love it. Like I don't, if you don't like this jacket there must be something wrong with you. <laughs> not in a horrible way but it just makes me so joyous and I just know that when the sewing school is open I'm going to be wearing this jacket all the time. I just, I just can't wait. I just can't wait to wear it. I love it. So this is the Mona pattern, the Mona jacket pattern from Wham and Lemonade if you want it. So before I leave you, I just thought I'd show you the progress of my denim jacket. So as you know, I've been really, really busy opening up sewing school. I've been toing and throwing, doing painting, furniture building, blah, 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 blah. So I don't actually get that that much time to sew. I've just been sort of meeting deadlines for blog posts and like other people's stuff, commission work, magazine commissions, blah, 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 blah. Um, and because the Mazer jacket is just like a, a casual thing for me, I haven't actually had that much time on it. Um, so I thought I'd show you the progress. Um, it's by far the most time consuming thing I've ever made. Um, one, because the pattern pieces took so long to cut out because there's so many of them. Um, and two, because this would be really handy once I got the sewing school open so that I can rig up two machines, one in top stitching thread and one in normal thread 
and then have my overlocker as well because also when you're putting the each section together you sew it first then you top stitch it then you sew it then you top stitch it then you sew it then you top stitch it so it takes ages so if I could have two machines that were one with top stitching thread one with normal thread then like it would make the process a lot quicker so I've only actually made like the the jacket part of it um so I mean I'm still pretty pleased with it um, I did realise that because I was working, I've been ba mainly doing this in the evenings, I have got this top bit of denim backwards, I don't know if you can notice that, but it's slightly paler than the rest of it, um, but I think that looks quite cool, um, and I did it on this side as well, I mean at least it matches, um, so that's the front of the jacket so far, um, and I've done the collar as well, and that's the back, so I mean it does look like a cool denim jacket, um but i mean it looks i look like a bit a bit like a biker if i wear it like, like this just on its own um but obviously it needs buttons and whatever but so far i am really really happy with it i just think it's taking me so long and because i don't have enough time to dedicate just to making this jacket it's going to take me a while to complete so i'll probably only finish it like after the sewing school <laughs> set up um but i just thought i'd show you my progress um I was going to do a sew along with it but I started filming the cutting out progress and then leaving it and coming back and, and I just thought this isn't going to work because it's going to be, most of the filming is going to be done in the dark and it's just going to look very strange. So I know I'm, I'm, I'm just going to make this for myself and if it goes well then I might do a sew along with the lovely embroidered denim that I got. Um, so keep your eye out for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below with any pattern recommendations or comments on the things I've made and hopefully I will see you next week for another video. Happy handmade everyone! <laughs>